Hello everyone, I am Srikant Kapila, a member of the R&D team within BMC. Welcome to this video tutorial on configuring domain authentication with BMC's BladeLogic Server Automation. This video will help you to connect to the BMC's BladeLogic Server Automation application server using your domain credentials. It captures the 7 steps that are required to be performed by the administrator to enable this authentication type. Domain authentication or Active Directory as it is popularly known is an industry standard used by many organizations which acts as an enabler to provide access to various applications for its end users. The BMC's Blade Logic Server Automation also provides a way for end users to use the same credentials to log on to the application server. In order to use these steps, the end users should have an Active Directory configured and reachable via BBSC, which is basically BMC's Blade Logic Server Automation. Information regarding the host name and domain names of the Active Directory. Access to the application server to run the commands required to configure the application server. And finally, access to the server automations console with the RBAC admin stores to create and manage users. Let me first walk you through the seven steps that are required to configure domain authentication. In the first step, the end user should know the name of the domain he or she wishes to log on to. This information along with the domain name will be populated into the blappserv-krp5.conf file which is used by the application server to talk to the Active Directory. The third step is the blappserv-login.conf which basically tells the application server the type of authentication that has to be enabled. This file is a standard file and should not be modified by end users. A copy of the particular file can be downloaded from docs.bmc.com and be directly used by end users. Once you have the file, two files ready, you can now log on to the application server and start configuring the application server so that the authentication service also enables domain authentication. Fifth and the most important step is basically cross registering the users into BMC's automation server database. I will talk you through the steps 5, 6, 7, and 8, 5, 6, and 7 as I am doing the demo. I have a copy of .krbcon file which I am going to talk you through. This particular file is divided into three different sections. The first section basically captures the lifetime for this particular credential. That means how long the Active Directory should issue a ticket to the end user. The default realm stands for the, the domain you would like to connect to. In this example, it's dev.mycompany.com. The realm stands for a short shortcut key which maps to the KDC or the actual server name that is used by the application server to talk to the Active Directory. There is a provision for adding subdomains or configuring active directories which are which are having in a forest converse, configuration. Domain realm is nothing but mapping your domain to the realm that is present configured in this particular file. blapps.login.conf file as I said earlier is a standard file. This file has to be merely copied onto the application server and caught for configuration. Now I basically will move on to the application server. I am using a Linux application server for this particular demo. I have already logged on to the application server and navigated to the install location followed by the nsh and br directory. In this directory I have copied both the files that are required for this authentication type. Okay. Now from this particular console I will now launch Will now launch the network shell followed by the Red Logics Administrator Utility. Okay. Once you have run this, the next step is basically to enable the domain authentication. I have the commands handy here, so I'll use the same. First command is basically enabling the domain authentication. 
which basically says set auth server is domain auth enabled is set to true. The second step is basically configuring the path to both the configuration files that we created in step 2 and step 3. So the krb conf file is done. Now the krb login conf file is also configured. Once you are done, you exit out of the network shell as well as as well as the network shell as well as the Bedlux server automation utility. Now at this moment you need to restart your application server for the changes to take effect. For the sake of the demo, I have already configured my application server with the domain authentication files. I will now directly move on to the next step in the process. So I have the BMC's data server automation console ready and I'm actually logging on to the application server as an RBAC administrator. This step is required for cross-registering the users from the Active Directory to BMC server automation's database. After you logged in, navigate to RBAC manager to the user section, right click and say new user. In this case, I am using a user called as test user in a dummy domain called sso.bmc.com. I uncheck the secure remote password authentication and I enable the active directory authentication. I give the user any of the rules I, I wish to give him. So I give him the BL admins rule. I click finish. So you could see the user is actually created. Since the application server is already configured with the application server with the domain authentication files, I can now go ahead and create a new authentication profile. So I've already created one called as domain authentication where I gave the application server's name followed by the port as well as and where the authentication message is selected as domain authentication. I use this particular authentication profile to log into the system. I enter the name of the user as test user, the domain as sso.bmc.com and password as the password. Congratulations, you have just learned how to log into BSA using your domain other credentials. Thank you very much.